Hi, thanks for joining me today. I've got a problem from the Oxford University Maths Admissions Test. We want to uh, find the number of solutions of the following equation. Sine of 2 cos 2x two plus 2 equals 0, and x is between 0 and 2 pi inclusive. And so there's either 2, 3, 4, 6, or 8 solutions, and it's our job to determine how many. If you want to have a go at this problem, pause the video now and give it a go for yourself, but I'm going to dive straight in here. So we've got sine of 2 cos 2x plus 2 is 0. So it's a function within another function. So we probably want to start with the outer function. So we've got sine of something, let's call this something u, equals 0. So sine of u equals 0. How is that possible? How is it possible that sine of something equals 0? Let's draw a quick graph. So sine maybe looks something like this. And then draw it the other side. So not a great diagram, but... It's 0 when x is 0. It's also 0 when uh, it, the input is pi, or when it's 2 pi, or on the other side, if we go to minus pi and minus 2 pi as well. OK, so and obviously that continues on forever on either side. So we quite easily uh, learn from this that sine of u equals 0 if and only if u equals n pi, where n is just any integer, positive or negative. Great. So we know that u has to be a multiple of pi. So 2 cos 2x plus 2 must be some multiple of pi. OK, cool. Well, what can we say about 2 cos 2x of 2, uh, 2 cos 2x plus 2? Well, we can use the trivial bound. We know cos of anything is always between minus 1 and 1. So if we double it, that guy there is between minus 2 and 2. And if we add 2 to that, well, minus 2 plus 2 is 0, 2 plus 2 is 4. So this guy here must be between 0 and 4. So 2 cos 2x plus 2 is between 0 and 4. Great. Pause! I've decided to set up my own tutoring company to help you study maths at a top university. So if you like the way I explain things, go check it out. Let's get on with the video. But we also know that it has to be an integer multiple of pi. So what integer multiples of pi are there between 0 and 4? Well, there's 0, because 0 times pi is still 0, and that's in this range. So this could equal 0. Or it could equal pi, because pi is 3.14, blah, blah, blah. And obviously 2 pi is too big, and minus pi is negative. So there's two possibilities here. Either we have 2 cos 2x plus 2 is 0, in which case cos 2x oops, cos 2x is just minus 1. What about this situation? If 2 cos 2x plus 2 is pi, if we rearrange that, we get cos 2x is pi minus 2 over 2. So we've got two different possible values that cos 2x can take. Which one is it? Or how, how, do we, how do we use this to answer the question? Well, we're going to draw a quick graph of cos 2x. And now we're going to use the fact that x is between 0 and 2 pi. So cos starts up here. And remember, it's 2x. So if you think of cos x, we're kind of squishing it uh, by a factor of 2 because it's cos 2x. So that's going to get us up to pi. And to take us to 2 pi, we do another copy. So this is y equals cos 2x. Cool. Well, what values is it allowed to take? Well, it could be minus 1, which is right at the bottom here. And so we have two solutions, one there and one there. Or it could be pi minus 2 over 2. Now, pi is roughly 3.14. Take away 2 from that is roughly 1.14. Divide that by 2 is roughly 0 0.55. So let's mark on that there. And how many times does that intersect the graph? Well, that's one, two, three, four. So we have another four solutions there. So four plus two gives us six solutions. And that is the answer to this problem. We have six solutions to this equation. I hope this solution has made sense and given you, uh, you know, a bit of insight into what types of problems you see in the multiple choice section of the map. The general thought process behind answering this sort of question is I see that we have a function inside another function. So we think about this outside function first, it's sine. What does that input have to be in order for the output to be zero? And we established that u had to be a multiple of pi. And then from that, we can think about cos 2x, so the function that's within that. Anyway. That solves this problem. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, do give it a like. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.